Organizations like Joy Soup Kitchen have a big job in helping people get through tough times. And that job's only gotten bigger because of the pandemic. I was a bad drug addict and an alcoholic. I've been clean and sober for 30 years now. Thomas Quigley knows hard times and what's needed to find a way out of them. I thought about all the things that I've done and how I really never put anybody else forward than myself. And I just, something flipped in me, said that this is how your life is supposed to go now. Quigley says his life is 180 degrees from the down and out place where he'd been. His new place is in Greenville and in a new kind of service. And I went to rehab while I was in the Marine Corps and in that rehab, something clicked that you're supposed to be here for this. So EMT, paramedic, firefighter, charity. He's the founder of No Thanks Needed, a nonprofit that helps children with progeria, an aging disease and serves on the board for Joy Soup Kitchen. Did you ever do something and it felt so good and then you wish you could do that for the rest of your life? I have that. I have that every day, I got goosebumps. The director of the soup kitchen passed away earlier this year. Then the pandemic added yet another huge hurdle for the kitchen's volunteers to overcome. Food insecurity soared. It's huge. The kitchen nearly shut down for good. We were really hurting when the pandemic hit. Financially, we were low. And I made a post one day on the restaurant page about restaurants, please help me. If you're going out of, if you're closing because of the pandemic, call me, I'll take your food. And it developed a relationship that has snowballed throughout Greenville right now. Quigley says with the help of restaurants and the popularity of his own charity, Joy has been able to continue serving meals and people's spirits. So now I've taken, I had thousands of followers from No Thanks Needed who now follow Joy Soup Kitchen. And I've had people from other states helping fund things at Joy Soup Kitchen because I was able to tie the two together. And it's just, it's been really cool. And it's more than just the volunteers in the kitchen. It's local businesses, churches, and members of the community who help others. In Greenville, Victoria Holmes, nine on your side.